Brecken is so desperate he's ready to deal with the devil himself, Rise. And since I'm supposed to determine whether or not Rice is the one who stole the GRE's secret document, well, this is the perfect opportunity. Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's him. Um... Listen, Crane, we all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't get Antizen from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but... He was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I... Look, Jade, we'll talk when I get back with the Antizen, okay? Okay. Just... Just come back in one piece, all right? Come here. I've got a special deal for you. we can survive for the next couple of days at least. Thank you so much.
we have a trap set in the city. You got something for us? It's a lot. Every little thing matters. sinking fast. You've got less than an hour to return to your safe houses. After that, you'll be on your own. Motherfucker! God damn it! Now you're just making me mad! I'll fucking get you!
Kirahim, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. Don't shoot! Don't You're shoot! Going to need it. Hands up. What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole in the tower? All right. What does he want? I've come to make a deal. The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. All right. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. <laughs> left! <laughs> Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you. 
and Rise will consider giving your people some antizin. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've gotta cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of antizen stockpiled. There you are. Rice said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. And if I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem's sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal, so Ryze can communicate with Atlas at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Ryze. Perhaps, but the Emperor must monitor his empire. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. Shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth. He spit a bunch of toxic snot at me.
Fucking on! Good. Now head up to the top. Shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck, I was afraid of that. All right, head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it.
Adam!
Kareem, what do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. Back away. This doesn't concern me. right here. Let's do it. Kareem, I'm at the second antenna tower, and the fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei, and probably his son Kristoff. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter.
stuff what do you want? I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Christoph, what's wrong with you? This thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. Oh, 
Lavash! You... you don't eat people, do you? Thanks for helping me out. to know. My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, Please, don't hesitate to ask. The job's done. Now it's time to get back to Rice and get that antis in. Well, you not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. So can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. All right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. How much this time? Ah, my friend. Rice likes you, I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no?
I can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. But the GRE won't let me just walk away. Plus, if there's any chance that we can get that Antis in, I have to try. So this time he wants me to gather protection money from the surrounding settlements. And after this, he better hand over the drugs. Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, Crane out. Excuse me? Almost at Kareem, I'm by the wheel station. Took you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. You Jafar? Oh, and Stano. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rice sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. 
For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off. I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay. Jesus. You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who'd act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa, su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next, you collect a tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there. for Rise. He wields a lot of power. He scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. Listen, mate, time's getting short. We're almost out of answers in. Much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just want you to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. All right, all right. Here's hoping you can make it back to the tower soon.
Hey, Kareem, I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge bloated infected just fucking exploded. Kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. Alright. You'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Look for a man named Gerson. Okay, Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected in there. So, clear them out. We get paid for protection. Do some protecting. before more of those fuckers get inside.
Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You brought the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rye sent me. Are you Gersel? Oh, you were for Rye's. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more freaking tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Furkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Furkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment, so you make the payment or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Furkin. Give me a break, Isla. All right, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go. At the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry? Well, there was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water. Any guess how those infected got through the fence? Guess? I know exactly how they got in. That masked nut job soared through the husp. Who are you talking about? They call him Gas Mask Man. He lives outside. He's crazy in the head, so he wears a gas mask all the time, like it's going to protect him. And you're sure it was him? One of the guards saw him cut the husp and run off. Someone's got to do something about that guy.
who are you? What do you want? I'm Crane. What are you doing in here? What am I doing? What am I doing? My name's Tobias, and I'm designing weapons. Zombie killing weapons. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. I guess I'll just, uh, just leave you to it then. No, no, wait. Wait, don't go, don't go, listen. I've almost finished an ultra weapon of monster destruction. All it needs is some fine tuning, and you can help with that. Well, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. I gotta admit, this thing is pretty sweet. Not sure about the battery life, though. I can fix it. Yeah, I can totally fix it, I think. Yeah, yeah. All I have to do is run some more tests. With your help, of course. Shakur is not taking visitors today. Shakur didn't want visitors. Shakur shouldn't have sabotaged the fence at the fishing camp. What? What are you talking about? That wasn't Shakur. That was Gas Mask Man. You're Gas Mask Man. Me? 
You're insane. Why would you think that? Because you're wearing a gas mask? But you have been tricked, my friend. This saboteur was an imposter who makes himself to look like me. So you will be angry at Shakur. But Shakur knows who did this. Shakur saw him without his mask. So you're saying you saw someone disguised as you? I watched him from behind the rocks. He did not see Shakur, but Shakur saw him. Well then Shakur better tell me who it is. No. <laughs> My information is far too valuable. If you want to know what Shakur knows, then first you will do a thing for me. Then I will tell you. We're not negotiating, Shakur. Of course not. Shakur tells you what to do, and you must obey. Now, obey Shakur. And what exactly does Shakur want? There's a lake nearby. My treasure bag fell out of the boat and was lost in the water. You must be like a fish and bring it back to me. Go! Be quick! I've got your bag. Why couldn't you get it for yourself? Shakur can't swim. Now, first the bag. Then I tell you who is Shakur Imposter. All right. Okay, Shakur, tell me what you saw. First, the Imposter sneaks out of the village. He's very quiet, like a master spy. Then he puts on a mask. Then, he sneaks back to the gate, but now he is very noisy, so the guard will see him. Then he cuts the lock and runs away. Did you recognize him? He looked crazy to me. Nothing like Shakur. But do you know who he was? Of course. He's one of the fishermen, the one who was disguised as Shakur. All right. I'll check it out. By the way, Shakur, what was in the bag? My air. My precious, clean air. No, I can breathe again. How many people have keys to open the gate? Just a few. Tom, Gersel, or Musa. Thanks.
What can I do for you, Crane? You sabotaged the gate, Gersel. You let the infected into the village. Me? It was the crackpot in the mask. The, the guard saw him. Yeah, but someone else saw you. Who? What is he? Show me. Well, there's also the mask I found in your hut. Yeah, well, what was I supposed to do? The village didn't want to pay tribute to Rice, and Rice was getting impatient. That's why he sent you, right? So you allowed an attack on your own people? I had to convince them that they needed Rice's protection. It did the job, didn't it? So what the hell do you care? Now Musa wants to put a bullet in Gas Mask Man. And that's a problem? Yeah, make sure it doesn't happen or you'll be explaining why you allowed Infected into the village. All right, all right. I'll talk to Musa and the guard. All right, Gas Mask Man won't be bothering you anymore. Did you put a bullet in him? No, that wasn't necessary. After what he did? Look, you may not like it, but murdering people is still kind of a big deal. If you decide it isn't, you and me are gonna have some problems. No problems, mister. I just got mad. I never hurt anybody. Thanks for talking to him. Crane! Just the man I wanted to see. I've upgraded my machete. I mean, your machete. It ought to have a different effect. Maybe. If it doesn't break down... Now, here. Take this and let me know the results. Practice makes perfect, I guess. I mean, it worked enough, I guess. I think I burned off my eyebrows. Yes, yes. Fine. Good. I uh, can't talk right now. This place isn't safe anymore. I'll call you on the radio when I've resettled. I gotta go. Gotta go.
Make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off you blood suckers. <sighs> Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rise said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it gonna take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire. Jesus Christ, you people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. Hey, for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? Okay, Kareem, I made the collection at the ferry station, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, come back and claim your prize. Good job today. Check for me. I'm Neil Fallon. I'm a journalist for International Affairs magazine. Yeah, I've heard of you. You have? How the hell did you get in here? It wasn't so hard during the first few days of the quarantine. And when they put Suleiman in charge, it was pretty clear how things were going to go. So you decided to stick around? Actually, I've decided to leave. Though God knows how that's gonna happen. I've been in some lockdown cities before, but there's usually someone you can bribe. Not here. I can't get you out of Haran. I'm not sure anyone can. No, of course. But I've been documenting this place pretty much from day one. I've interviewed hundreds of, well, people who aren't people anymore. Suleiman has a lot to answer for. The world needs to know what's happened and... Look, I'm kind of desperate here. I've lost my work, all of it. I was holed up at an internet cafe when a mob of infected landed on me. I got out without a bite, but I left my satchel at the cafe. And everything's in the satchel? Most of it. They chased me for a while, so I finally had to ditch my camera in a car. Look, I know it's a lot to ask. All right, even if I recovered them, you still don't have a way out of here. Mister, if I can't get my work back, there's no reason for me to get out. Now that cafe's in a bad area. I'll... I'll think about it, but no promises, okay? What's wrong? Someone's turned on the 18th floor. Doing our best to contain the situation, but... We can't sugarcoat this crane. We need Anderson right fucking now! Rise has promised me two crates, Brecken. Two crates. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can, I swear. Just... God, just hurry, please! <sighs>
that. Hey, open up in there. Who are you? Crane, from the tower. I heard a woman screaming. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's my wife. She's, a uh, she's giving birth. Oh, shit. Is there anything I can do? We need alcohol. To disinfect. Please, help us. Alcohol? Yeah, I've got some alcohol. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna be a big help. But, uh, is that all you could find? It's not really enough. I'd go out myself, but I can't leave my wife now. Let me see if I can find some more. Hey, it's Crane. I found some more. Yeah! Great, because we're going through it like water. But, oh, is that it? It's almost enough, but not quite. You must have a lot of germs in there. Oh, with this terrible plague, everything has to be clean. Spotless. I can't risk my newborn getting infected. We must have more alcohol. The disease is actually transferred from a bite that causes... Hey, I've got the alcohol. Everything okay in there? Oh, you got some more? Uh, yeah, here. Oh, cheers. Bye! I could let it go, but I don't think I'm going to. We're gonna drink our garnish sauce to the ground. Down to the ground. Of course. <sighs> Great. Assholes.
Alan, it's me. I'm near the cafe. Anything I should know? Stay clear of the latte. They tend to burn the milk. I've got your satchel. Now, where's the camera? My God, you're incredible. It's in the trunk of a black car on the infamy bridge. Oh, that's not what I was hoping you'd say.
No, 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 no! Damn it! You did it! I can't even begin to thank you enough. What's your name? People are going to know about you. Look, my name doesn't matter, because you're still not getting out of here. No one's getting out of here. But... Then why'd you do it? Why risk your life like that? I thought you deserved a chance to prove me wrong. Good luck, Fallon. Yeah. Thanks. You too. <laughs> 